Now, most students are familiar with word search puzzles, but usually in solving them, not making them. Now, tell your students that they're going to make a word search puzzle for the books that they are reading. The first puzzle will focus on vocabulary. First, ask your students to copy about 10 words from their story. Then, give them the blank grid and ask them to write the words, one letter per space. So, give them this blank grid. And I have here an example with the words completed. I usually tell them to write the words from left to right or top to bottom. This is so they can visually see the word correctly and not backwards. They should not write the words in the lines. These lines are for the student who solves the puzzle. Now, when they have written in all the words, ask them to complete the grid with letters at random in order to hide the words, like this. They should write the number of words in the puzzle and the title of the story as well as their name at the bottom. Now, as they finish, collect all the puzzles. As part of your class library, you can use the puzzles in different ways. You can give the puzzle to a student who has read the book and ask them to solve it, or you can save the puzzles in a folder. As students read the books, they can go to the folder and take out the puzzle to solve. Or, if you have a class library in more than one class, you can exchange the puzzles between the two classes. Now, students can also make word search puzzles based on sentences. First, ask your students to copy between six to ten sentences from their story. And then, ask them to look at their sentences to underline one important word in each sentence. Give them the word search grid and ask them to write the sentences in the lines, but without the underlined word. Tell them to leave a space for that word, like this. You can see the sentence with the space. Now, tell them to write the words in the grid. Once they have written all the words, ask them to write the letters at random. With word search puzzles, students improve their reading comprehension in two ways. First, they improve their reading when they are making the puzzle, and then again when they are solving the puzzle. 